I'm going to now show you how to remove the white pith using a spatula. So initially there's going to be quite a bit. So you want to uh, put your, your um, spatula on the orange peel so that it runs parallel to the orange peel and just simply start scraping underneath. You don't want to push too hard because you'll start to break the orange. Okay, so we just do that. And initially, you'll get quite a large piece of pith coming off. But as you get closer, you'll simply have to scrape very lightly back and forth so where you can see the bumps of the orange that become visible on the inside of the peel. Okay? So once you have, have gotten to that point, then you know you have gone far enough. So let's take a look at the difference here. You can start to see the bumps on the inside of the orange peel, and there's still some pith there. So let's continue this piece and finish it off. Okay? Scrape lightly. Again, you don't want to push too hard because you will break the orange. Okay, so that is good enough for this piece. So this is what your orange peel, the, the uh, peel on your left, is what the orange peel should look like right after you peel the orange, and the peel on your right is what it should look like after you have removed the white pith. The real difference is actually in the width of the two pieces. When you add it, to, just before you add it to the blender, it should be really thin. So I've already completed the rest of the uh, two medium oranges. We now have to add this to the blender. Okay, so once you have uh, removed the white pith from your two medium oranges, you want to add this to the blender. Now the blender is going to do most of the job of, of grinding this, so it doesn't really matter the size of the orange peel. Okay, so we can add this into our blender. Now the directions call for the addition of 220 milliliters of water. You don't want to add all 220 mils directly into the blender. You want to reserve about 70 milliliters of this so you can wash the blender afterwards. Okay, so I'm going to add 150 milliliters approximately. Okay, I'm going to reserve just a little bit of the water to wash the blender. Put the lid on. Now, in my experience with this, you want to make sure that you've blended it fairly well. Otherwise, the oranges, orange solution will not go through the powder funnel when you attempt to add it to the 500 ml round bottom flask. So it's better to blend too long than not long enough. Okay. What you should end what you should end up with is what looks like a orange shake with very small pieces of orange peel floating around in it. Okay? So now that we've we have this here, we can now add this to our 500 ml round bottom flask. Okay, the glassware that you're going to need to obtain limonene from your orange solution is a powder funnel, uh, four joint clips, cat clips, a Claisen adapter, and a stopper that fits into the Claisen adapter, a sidearm adapter, a water jacketed condenser, two pieces of rubber tubing, those are available in your hood a vacuum adapter, a 50 milliliter round bottom flask for the collection <coughs> of your distillate, thermometer adapter and thermometer, and of course grease and this solution called anti-foam B, and the 500 mil round bottom flask. Uh, 
I've already secured the 500 mil round bottom flask and we can add our powder funnel to this and transfer the blended solution of oranges. So if we've done a fairly good job of blending this, then it should have no problems going through. Okay, so we have had a problem here blending it, so let's see if we can't break that up a little bit. I have a spatula and just a little obstruction there. And we can add the rest of our solution. Again, it's always better to blend too long than not long enough. We have reserved some water to wash out the blender, so I'm going to add that here and put the lid on and shake that up. Finally, transfer this, this uh, rinse into the round bottom flask. At this point, you should have approximately 250 milliliters of solution in your round bottom flask. I'm going to take this powder funnel out and remember to add four drops of anti-foam V into your solution. The orange solution tends to increase the surface tension of water and without the anti-foam B you will have um, problems with the distillation. So four drops And now we can start adding the glassware for a steam distillation.